Hey YouTube, it's DB here coming at you with a fragrance review and and just wanted to come with you today and let you know what scent I wore today and how it smells and all that good happy stuff. So I got my boy the number one smeller, that's Brayden right there, you know he likes to do these reviews with me. So stay right there and we'll be right back. This is DB and Braden, and we're about to take you behind the nonsense. So, I guess you're wondering what I wore today. Well, I'm about to hit you up with what I wore today. It's a clone house, but I'm going to tell you, I don't have what this is a clone of. I, I want to say I've smelled it before, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it as if I did not because I can't remember. I'm getting old. I just turned 41. So what do I got? I got Armoff's Boa Cute. I like this bottle. It's heavy. And solid. The cap on it is actually even solid, even though it's Hard plastic, I mean, it don't come like a hard plastic. Atomizer's pretty good, too. I don't like spraying stuff in the air, really, unless I got to. But the presentation on this is nice. I give this a 9 out of 10. You think it's a pretty good presentation? Yeah. I agree. So, people say that this is a, a clone of Chanel's uh, Platinum. Chanel Platinum. I don't know. I think I smelled it before, and when I put this to my nose, it kind of, kind of smells like what I remember. But like I said, I'm just going to do the review like I didn't smell it. So, what do you think? I think I I smell a very sweet smell in it. Yeah, it's definitely not sweet. I think it's more like synthet synthetic it's floral. Strong. Yeah, it's definitely strong. This has a very good projection. I put this on. I'm going to tell you it's already faded. I put this on at 10 o'clock. Uh, about 3 o'clock, I couldn't smell it no more. Or on shirt or on skin. But it gave me a good two-hour projection. And yes, it was heavy. This is definitely something that's going to bring them, bring them in. They're going to smell it from far away. But I can smell it just a, a faint bit on my shirt. But, I mean, it's it's really a five-hour uh, longevity to yeah, five hours. Give me a good good five hours. And it was a strong five hours. It Basically what it did was it went on strong, faded hard. So what I mean by that is literally on the fifth hour, it dried up like you couldn't smell it no more. It didn't level out to nothing. It didn't have stages. It smelled straight good and then boom, you just didn't smell it no more. But I'm going to tell you something. This is like 25, 35 bucks. And I looked up the Chanel Platinum it's 70 bucks so i mean for me personally i wouldn't mind buying the original but i got this for mad cheap i believe yeah i bought something else and somebody says man do you want to buy this i give it to you for 15 bucks i'm not going to say no to 15 bucks well you, you gonna say no to 15 bucks no you're not <clears throat> no you sure yeah okay he says he ain't gonna say no to 15 bucks if that little tight wad there is not going to say down to 15 bucks, ain't nobody. But, hey, I, I recommend it. I do. If you can come across this for 20 bucks, 25 bucks is definitely worth getting. The $35 range that I've seen it for, I think I saw it for $39.99 on Fragrance X. I would stay away from that because you can go into the <clears throat> Facebook communities and uh, into the uh, fragrance groups and probably snag that Chanel up, you know, with a couple sprays missing for 50 so why go 40 when you, you can just go 50 and get the real thing? But, like I said, if you get it in a deal like I do, it's well worth it. So, pick it up. Put it in your collection. I think it's a great thing to do. Um, you know, I, I really like the way it looks. It's definitely unique. What do you think about how it looks? Yeah, I think it, the bottle is actually a pretty cool thing. A little different than most of your other bottles. Yeah. Everybody else got kind of like the square or round. or. That's like a leather bottle. Yep. And this one here just, 
it's great. I, I just recommend it. So if you can get out there and find it, get it. DB said so. If DB tells you it's good, you know it's good. You see my other reviews. If it's bad, it's bad. Stay tuned. I got some things in the works. I got, um, uh, I am an Elvis fan. I know I'm only 41, but I do like Elvis. I bought a rare Elvis cologne off of eBay. Yes, it is authentic. And I will be getting that soon. Um, that is a, what a 60s and 70s man should really smell like, so they say. They always said Elvis smelled good, man. So, hey, I'm going to give it a shot. I got uh, Ivory Root from Zerzhoff coming. I've got Date for Men coming. Uh, let's see what else. I got a Mancera. Do not ask me. What, no, it's a Montal. I do not know. No, it's a Mancera. I do not remember what it's called because I literally just bought it. And I got a couple other things coming, guys. So I'm going to have plenty to review. Um, I'm going to have a give a shout out on a video here soon because I got a friend of mine who sent me a ton of decants. We just sat down and, and had some conversations. He's got 500 different colognes and... We, he had a uh, um, uh, Terry Mugler Pure Wood, I think is what it's called, and I had never, I've, I've never seen it. So I was like, "Hey, I want to give it a shot." And he said, "I'll send you a decant and uh, let you try it." I said, "Well, how much?" He's like, "Nothing. We'll just send it." So anyway, I got a bunch of decants coming. I can't remember what all I got from him. It's just so freaking many, but we're gonna keep this thing going. The notorious one's always going to be here with me, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to do reviews. As soon as he starts learning to open his mouth and say something without me asking, we'll be aight. Right. But anyway, we enjoyed it. Thanks, Braden. You're welcome. And this is DB, and I just took you behind the nonsense. Y'all have a good one.